A former New Jersey high school basketball player while battling cancer gets a gift from a complete stranger. Our Jason Kahn has an inspiring story. Shooting around, Jeff Bryant can only imagine if he'd be playing college basketball. You'll notice the limp, the source of what could have taken his life. My legs are getting stronger each day. At six foot eight, Jeff helped Point Pleasant Beach to a state title as a junior, a conference title as a senior, Division three programs offered, until Dad noticed something was wrong. I'm like, Jeff, your left leg's bigger than than your right leg. X-rays revealed a tumor so large that it covered Jeff's right femur. He had bone cancer. The first thing that came to my mind was what can I do to fix it? Doctors replaced his thigh bone with a metal rod and an artificial knee, then rounds of treatment and two more surgeries. Through it all, Jeff volunteered as a coach at his high school months after graduating, but it was more than worth it this one time. Coach Catania, the head coach, he told me there was something in the uh, school mail for me, and it was, you know, a booklet about the Friends Foundation and a letter with a check. That $500 check came from Bob Hugel, a lawyer out of Red Bank. He saw Jeff's story in a local newspaper. Hugel runs the Francis Foundation, a nonprofit charity fulfilling wishes for kids trying to beat cancer. My mom passed from cancer in 2000 uh, when she was only 64 years old. And uh, in honor of my mom, we started raising some funds for the American Cancer Society. And uh, then we thought that uh, we want to be more personal. Hugel says the foundation, named after his mom, has helped at least a thousand families in its 11 years. Like Haley Filippini from Lebanon, who has brain cancer. Hugel wants to give her a big 16th birthday party when she's out of the hospital. Or Sammy Bayankowski from Tom's River, in her third bout with cancer. Hugel gave her tickets to see the Giants. And Kyle Pinero from Clifton. He had a first class experience at a Devils game. He passed away this year from bone cancer. What can be worse than a parent being told that their child has cancer? I don't know what's worse. The motivation behind Hugel's random act of kindness. And Jeff was a part of it. The guy's address is here. Let's send him a big smile and tell him thank you very much. And we want to meet him. I mean, this is this was so nice. After Jeff and his family called Hugel to thank him, a lunch meeting was set up at Jeff's favorite restaurant, Antonio's in Manasquan. Here, another gift was waiting for him. We knew that Final Four NCAA championship, that would be at the very top of this kid's wish list. And that was like a jaw dropper. Like, I mean, I didn't expect anyone to give me something like that. Jeff spent championship weekend in Indianapolis, meeting the sport's biggest names. Other side, other side. Returning home, he's coaching with Mike Rice and his AAU team. He makes sure our guys understand how lucky they truly are. Doctors say Jeff's cancer is gone, and the person who's thrilled about that news more than anyone else is Hugel. You get back this sense of my life is making a difference a difference in the lives of kids he calls his warriors. Jason Kahn, News 12, New Jersey. Well, the Francis Foundation raised more than $200,000 last year. Hugel says more than a million dollars has helped kids and their families all over New Jersey.